Hey guys, sorry about the other video, I lost connection somehow. Uh, today we're fixing Fox Body idle issues. So I'm working on my buddy Robert's Vanilla Ice 5.0 over here, and we're going to do the 10-pin connector fix. So in the back of the intake manifold, there are these guys, two white and black 10-pin connectors, often referred to as salt and pepper shakers. And today we're going to fix them up. So this white one I haven't done yet. This is what it looks like inside. You've got these 10 pins, including the one in the middle there, that are uh, all the, pop all the uh, really popular wires for the EFI go through these 10 pin connectors. So uh, if it's important, it, it goes through here. Uh, it's the main engine harness connectors, basically, located on the back of the intake manifold on this stupid plastic bracket that you have to take off. And when you go to take them apart, you can almost guarantee you're going to split these two connectors. I try real hard not to, but that happens. So if you don't want to split them, you can try to take a very small flathead screwdriver, stick it sideways through here on each side of the connector to spread the connectors out. Let me see if I can show you how to do that. Something like this, if I can do this one-handed. You push them through kind of like that, and that'll help you. Uh, that'll help you kind of hold each connector apart, and you do that on both sides. So you need two of these little screwdrivers. Pull real hard, and they pop out. So once you get them apart, they look like this. And the ten-pin one that I haven't cleaned, this white one over here. I don't know if you guys can see that in the video. It's just got these smooth tips on the top. So each one of those little brass contacts uh, is sort of bullet shaped. The tip of that bullet shape is broke into three pieces or split into three pieces from the factory, but they're all kind of pressed together to make kind of a bullet nose. What we want to do is like what I've done with this black uh, connector over here, we want to spread the tips. Um, so you kind of bend back each of the three prongs, but you don't want to break it or you lose all pin tension and then the thing is going to be screwed. So here's the trick. I use these guys. These are sewing T-pins I got from Walmart. I got a small one and a big one, and they make it easy to probe into this thing. So I'm gonna work through one with you. This little guy here, let's do, uh, let's do the middle one, maybe he's easy. Let's see if I can hold my phone and do this at the same time. This little guy here is going to go down into the middle of the connector, and you'll feel it when you get it right. It'll kind of stick and just push straight down until the T-pin is inserted all the way down into the middle of the connector. Then I give it a little bit of a wiggle around, just kind of spread the pins a little. Pull that out, and then I go get this fatter T-pin. Then I come along here and push that down in the hole, and that spreads it even further. And then we're going to push a little bit in each direction with this heavier duty T-pin. It'll help you to bend the pins a little. But don't pull too hard and break the tips off. Kind of spread that around. I don't know if you guys can see that, but... Uh, wrong button. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I've spread the tip of that bullet out. And uh, it, now I can put this T-pin in with, you know, pretty much little to no friction. And so what we're doing here, we're making the male pins make a better contact with the female pins. The factory had a problem with this thing, and so uh, the, f the female pins are basically too loose for the male pins to fit tight. Um, so what we do, we spread those things out, and then uh, you can come back and hit this with some electrical contact cleaner or whatever. You'll notice that there's some peanut butter inside there from the factory that supposed to grease the pins up or whatever, and that crap's probably old if you want to clean it with a contact cleaner and then respray it or whatever you can. So usually this helps a lot with idle conditions. Just random idle stuff you cannot seem to figure out by doing all the other work that you're supposed to do. Magically, this sometimes fixes it. It's always a good idea on every 5-liter car to do it. 
You'll know if it's already been done because it'll look like this black connector where somebody's already spread them out a little bit, as opposed to this white connector where I've only done the one in the middle. So I think that's it, guys. You guys got any questions before I sign off on it? All right, nice ice baby, see ya.